Well, the Washington, D.C. Temple, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, sits on 52 acres of land and just, just sits just outside our nation's capital. Well, this year, following renovation, President Russell M. Nelson rededicated it. Religion specialist Carol Makita has a preview of her conference special with a look at the history of this piece of sacred ground. Since 1974, the Washington, D.C. Temple has been an iconic landmark seen by everyone who drives on the 495 Beltway. Divine by Design is a history of the temple by award-winning journalist Dale Van Atta. The ordinances and the work that goes on inside with the members are designed to be divine. This temple was the 16th of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and the first in the eastern United States. It was the last piece of undeveloped, majestic property overlooking Washington. Ownership of the land changed hands over the centuries with often a connection to faith. Colonists first settled it in the name of King James I of England. Latter-day Saints used the King James Version of the Bible. It passed to the Carroll family. John became a Jesuit priest and built a chapel there. Daniel, his brother, a member of the Continental Congress, spoke in favor of the First Amendment's guarantee a free exercise of religion. Then a farmer, Albert Ray, owned the property. He often rode his horse to a certain spot to pray. His granddaughter, who was a historian, took a friend to the property and pointed to where the temple was being built. She said, this is precisely where my grandfather took me and told me it was holy grounds. During both the Revolutionary War and the Civil War, no battle was ever fought on this land. Jewish businessmen were the last owners. It's hard to imagine that in 1962, this pristine property was within days of being sold to a developer for commercial buildings. Robert Barker, the church attorney, met with one of them and made the request. We want to buy it to build a temple there. And then he moves straight into a very powerful and emotional speech of gratitude to the Jewish people for having shown the Latter-day Saints how to build temples, the importance of temples, and that they still call their synagogues temples. An agreement was made, the temple was built, and dedicated in 1974 by President Spencer W. Kimball. But starting in 2018, this temple closed for more than four years for a renovation and because of the pandemic. Then this year came the public open house and a rededication led by President Russell M. Nelson. The iconic landmark glistens once again. Carol Makita, KSL 5 News. Wow, thanks, Carol. KSL TV is your home for all things General Conference, including exclusive documentaries Saturday and Sunday. Join us for A Sacred Monument in a City of Monuments, Sunday at 1.30 on KSL 5, on our KSL TV app, and on our website, ksltv.com.